I'm going to show you how you can find either print books or ebooks in Destiny Discover. Hopefully, you've already created a shortcut on your iPad for the HHS Library page. Once you get to the HHS Library page, simply click on Find a Book. It will then open up Destiny Discover on your iPad. In the upper right hand corner, please click Log In. Log in using your username and password. Please make sure it says Hemfield High School. Once you are logged in, you should see a little person in the upper right hand corner. There's a lot you can do here in Destiny Discover. In the upper left hand corner is three lines, which is the menu. This will help you get to any checkouts that you might have and also when they're due. It will also tell you if you have any books on hold. You should always use Destiny Discover when looking for books. You can simply type in the title of your book. For example, if you know that you wanted to read Catcher in the Rye, you would start to type it in. And it will do a search. You have to click on the search button. Now you can see that some of the books are out. It will tell you if it's a book because it says book with a little red book. If it is an ebook, it will have either a green e, which is a Follett ebook, or it might have a blue e, which is a different kind of ebook, but you can still click on that to open it. We also have some collections of books that we have saved for you. To get to collections, simply click on the navigation on the left and click collections. Sometimes we have collections for a class like the 11th grade term paper novel list, but we also have the uh, Young Adult Pennsylvania Young Readers Choice Awards as well as HHS Library Recommended List. These are books that Dr. Furman and Mrs. Douglas recommend as newly published and or good books that you might want to read. For example, you might want to read Matt De La Pena's The Living. If you click on the book, it will give you a summary of the book. And it might say that the book is in. And here you can see it says in in the upper left hand corner of the book's cover. If I want to place a hold on a book, I simply click hold. And now it gives me a, a message that the book is on hold. Once you've placed a book on hold, you can see that your book is on hold. We will then pull the book safely from the shelf with gloves and then we will check the book out to you. We will send you a Schoology message to tell you that the book is ready to be picked up. Please make sure you know your student ID number. We will not have your name on the book. We will simply have your student ID number on it. Simply come to the library and to the left after you walk in is a table and you will see all the books that are on hold. Find your student ID number. Please make sure that it, that is the book that you checked out and it's your student ID. Simply take the book and you may leave. Please only come to the library in between classes or right before school. Please do not come during flex or during class. The due date will be stamped in the book. If you are a virtual student, when you receive your Schoology message that your book on hold is ready, please respond back and let us know that you are a virtual student. We will then get your book ready for your next Thursday pickup. If you would like to renew the book, Simply send us a Schoology message and we will renew the book. You do not have to come to the library to renew the book. If you would like to return the book, simply come into the library and on the right hand side is a cart that you can return the book. We will check the book in that day before the end of school and make sure that we quarantine it safely before we put it back on the shelf. Remember this year, 
There are no fines for overdue books, but please make sure that you're reading your Schoology messages. We will send you a message when your book is overdue, and we will ask you to return it if you are done reading the book so that another student may also read that book. If you have any questions about this process, please Schoology message Mrs. Douglas or Dr. Furman. Happy reading.